We're back at it. It's Saturday, actually. Usually, usually I'm successful with a uh, Friday episode, but uh, yeah, we're coming on Saturday today. Cause long story short, I had a busy fucking Friday. It was a good ass time, but it was busy. I didn't, uh, uh, I didn't uh, have time to record yesterday. If I uh, believe me, I it was it was in my mind, and I was like, God damn, I should have just done it Thursday. So here we are. I had a good time yesterday. My uh, buddy Nick made some smash burgers for a bunch of us, and we got to hang out at his place for a while. It was a good time. It was a Friday, start of the weekend. So if you're listening, I hope you had a good Friday. It was good Friday. Fuck. And I, wow, what a sentence there. Oh, wow, it was Good Friday, a day about Jesus. Fuck. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it was, it, I had a good Friday. Hope you had a great Friday. Um, also, if you, if you got a chance to listen to the previous episode, uh, episode 45 with, uh, Spencer Davis, uh, second episode, did I just have a stroke? Uh, second guests in uh in the show's history and it was a damn good episode he's uh knows a lot about baseball and uh had a lot to talk about and uh if you're a cardinals fan you might get some enjoyment as well because we uh uh spencer was a little more pessimistic of a cardinals fan and cardinals are zero and two so far so uh right now it's uh it's you know there's as you can see by the title there's only 160 games left I know the title says one of 162, but, but you know the sentiment. But uh, it's it's a unique time because it's so early. Uh, it's really fucking early still. And the Cardinals haven't looked good. They've also been playing the Dodgers. And they've, uh, they've got some injured outfielders and whatnot. And Tommy Edmonds still hurt. So it's I, I feel like you really can't... You can have a shitty April and May and still put together a damn good season. So I'm just trying to remind myself of that. It's it's March. It's barely March. It's the 30th today. Um and uh and on uh April 1st, April Fools Day, uh you can expect uh, the second episode of the Bullpen League too. I'll uh, I'll be able to talk about the first uh, you know, few days or so of the league and and how everyone's doing and and where we're at. And again, it's it's still too early. It's too early to know anything. So it's it's too early to know if any of my four fantasy teams will actually be good. You know, guys are going to get hurt. Teams are going to suddenly suck that shouldn't suck. That's what happened last year. So, uh, yeah, man, I mean, it's just too early to fucking know. But it's like we finally get baseball back, you know, so it's like I was so fucking excited. I'm like, yeah, let's go birds, and, and we haven't looked that great. So it's uh, it's okay, though. It's it's a weird time in the season. The Diamondbacks railed the Rockies on Thursday, sixteen to one. I uh, they scored fourteen in the third inning, which I guess was some kind of franchise record or some shit. It, uh, fucking crazy. I watched some of that because I got a I got MLB TV, but because of the blackout restrictions, I can't even watch Cardinal games properly. So that's not my favorite thing in the world, but that's always been a problem. But um, I, I, I've i got, like I said, I've got four fucking fantasy teams this year. I've got the bullpen league, the the other league with uh, with my dad and a bunch of his buddies, the, the league that I have yet to win. And then I've got two ESPN leagues. One of them is like a rotisserie scoring, and the other is like a season points uh, scoring, which uh, currently... Currently, I'm in third in the bullpen league. Oh, that's a, I guess that's a little spoiler alert. I'm as of right now, as of today, I'm third. But we'll see what happens uh, by by the time that the second episode comes out on Monday. But I'm third in the bullpen league right now, and then the uh, the league with my dad. I'm in ninth, which I mean that league. I've been in that league a few years. I I need to win it once. I need to win that shit once. And then uh, in my ESPN leagues, I'm in eighth in the rotisserie one, and ninth in the season points one. I had a fucking terrible start in the points one because uh, Yamamoto got railed in uh, in Korea, 
and uh, and I was like negative twenty five in the standings until uh, until we actually started playing games. So I'm not doing great in that league. I'm I'm not really doing good in most of them, but you know what? It's too early to know. But my goal, my goal, is if I can have one day, if I can have one day of being first place in all four leagues, that would be a hell of an accomplishment. If all of that can align on one day where I can go into a day in first place in four leagues, that'll be, that'll call that a win. Call that a win for the whole year if I can accomplish that. And then hopefully, you know, the goal is to just win at least one of them. You just got to win one of them. Imagine if I don't win shit and I go 0 for 4. What if I, I got to get in the top three, like, like we got to, like, like, imagine if it's just a catastrophic, that would be a damn shame, because I'd have to talk about it, too. I have, I got this fucking show, so I would have no choice, I'd have to talk about it, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be bad, I'd be bitching, I'd be bitching a lot, but, but that's what's going on, so, so call this the fair warning. But as I said, um, it's too early to know anything, the, uh, Luis Arise, the guy who won the batting title, in the National League last year is currently 0 for 10 and has not gotten a hit yet. He hit 354 last year and he is hitless thus far. Nobody's freaking the fuck out. Nobody's saying he's washed and this dude's still going to hit over 300, but it's just too early in the season. But you know what? Like all the 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 Cardinals uh, talk so far, I've I've talked to a good handful of people about the Cardinals since the season started, and it is fuck, it's it's looking bleak right now. It is looking bleak, and at least with you know the people that I've uh, had some exchanges with since the, since uh, the season started, they've they've all uh, not had good mentalities, which I can't blame them, man. I can't blame them. And usually my response is I'm just waiting to get like pissed off. Like I'm I'm trying to push it off, but uh we we've not played great. But who knows? They got they go against Yamamoto tonight. So that'll uh that'll be a telling game because if Yamamoto Yamamoto can easily just find his shit and sail through us and, and maybe that'll happen. Or maybe Yamamoto still still got to get adjusted. It's his first game in Dodger Stadium. There's nothing there's nothing going to be out of the ordinary if he goes out there for his first few starts and gets knocked around a little bit. Like that doesn't mean that he's terrible. That doesn't mean that all of the money was wasted. That doesn't mean shit. Like if you think about it, he signed a contract for a long ass time. I don't remember how long, but it was a long fucking time. So in the scheme of that do his first five starts fucking matter at all? He's not going to get sent down. I'm pretty sure there's something in his contract that prevents that. So, I, it's it, it's yeah, that's the thing about baseball. You know, it's like we're we're in the end of March, technically not even in April. It'll be here soon, which is fucking crazy. But that's the sick thing about baseball. You know, if you you fuck around, you fuck around in three games in the NFL, and then people will call for your job. You know, you you've got eighteen weeks now, but it used to always be seventeen. So, the NFL, you can't fuck around for three weeks because that's three games, and if you're zero and three, then it's like, oh shit, it's a problem. But in baseball, God, I mean, listen, my my worst fear is if the Cardinals just don't cross five hundred. If we cannot surpass five hundred at all that is pretty much worst case scenario like be a winning ball club for the love of god because if you're not a winning ball club then by definition you are a loser you are a fucking loser because your team has more losses than wins that's how it fucking works so right now that's where my fucking uh expectations are and because we are two games in there's still plenty of time, but that's where my expectations are. And I also, you know, I'm not thrilled that that's where I'm at, but it's fine. It's fine. That's where, that's where you got to start. You got to win. You got to win first and then look at the standings. It's like, what's the point of looking at the standings when you know that we suck right now? So, but who knows, man, maybe by next week, if, if by next week we still haven't won a damn game, I'll probably be upset. 
some 0 and 10 shit would uh would not be good but i mean that would be crazy too you can't you gotta try to think logically i just i haven't looked at cardinals twitter i've uh I've I've mostly uh, kept myself in a good spot, so I don't know, man. If you, I, I, what do you think? Because I I can definitely understand frustration, and I mean, God, the fucking Rockies, though. I mean, those poor bastards, those poor bastards, sixteen to one. That is a team that's future is looking fucking bleak, and I and I'm not even trying to dog on them, but it's like, man, you could. The like the Rockies, the I feel for the A's, obviously. You know, White Sox, they they lost one to nothing on opening day. A fucking barn burner that was. But uh, but it's it's early. A lot can still happen, and uh, and hopefully I can find myself in in first place, uh, across four leagues at some point. I'm, imagine that that'd be sick. We can we can point back to this moment and be like. But uh, yeah, I I think that was a that was a nice a nice little chunk of a rant there. I mean, I I was planning to keep this episode a little bit short because I gotta leave the house in a little bit anyway. I mean, I uh, I if if you listen, I I I say it every episode because I have to. But you know, if you're listening, I always appreciate it. I mean, sincerely because I uh, I know I don't always get them up on Friday. Get them up on Friday. That makes it sound like I I got a different problem, but. I, I don't always get the episodes up on Friday, man, but I uh I I still do my best to uh hold myself to a certain level of, of accountability to to always get them out. That's the thing about this show, you know. I just I've gotten in a groove and and every week somehow, you know, I've I've gotten one out. And that's always going to remain true and and we've uh we've got the Bullpen League episode 2 coming up on Monday. Uh, that that show's gonna be fun because it's an excuse to to dive into fantasy baseball for me. So, um, man, I this show's been damn good to me. Again, last episode with Spencer was pretty fucking good. Um, and then if you want to listen to uh the uh the original the first episode uh featuring a guest episode thirty five with Andrew Green, uh buddy I've known since first grade, and we had a damn good conversation there as well. So. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just in a good ass mood, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've got that much more to say. Um, I, uh, I, I've been writing a little more consistently. I'm, I'm trying to get a first draft of something done and, and then hopefully I can work on another first draft after that. And I, uh, I'm, I'm wanting to, you know, bang out some drafts no matter, no matter how dirty or whatever they are. Cause I'm, uh, cause I'm going to move in June. So, I um I'm I, I wanna wanna shove through as, as much work as I can and, and a lot of the work is just uh putting yourself in the best spot to uh to sit down and write. I've uh so I've uh you know kinda kinda learned about that battle and and it's uh it's been a a, a nice a nice evolution of, of the last year as far as me trying to, you know, focus on, on writing and prioritizing that shit and and uh, and this show's helped with that as well, because it's like, oh fuck! It's like if I have to talk every fucking week, it's like I gotta talk about whatever, whatever I got going on, and then that's that's worth talking about, you know? Me me sitting around not doing shit isn't always worth talking about, but man, if I'm if I'm writing, I'll mention it. So, speaking of shit going on, I I haven't done stand up since February, and it's about to be April, so I'm I'm gonna try to find a week or two weeks in April where I can do stand up like back to back. Like maybe, I don't know if I'll be able to swing twice in one week or I might just try to make myself do back to back weeks. But the the thing is, is like if a, a week of time goes by, then it's easier for me to, for me to find a reason to not drive there. But, um, I, I got to get back on stage. I've, I've felt the, I've felt the pull to it. And I I gotta start ramping up again, and I gotta bust open my joke book and and see what the fuck I got and and all that stuff. So I sometime in April I'm hoping to get back on the stage because that shit's worth talking about too. If I'm if I'm doing this, so I uh, I'm uh, yeah I'm hoping to to get back on stage in April. I'll be able to make it happen, uh, whether it's at the Heavy Anchor or or somewhere new. We'll we'll see. But uh, 
but yeah, but maybe maybe get that momentum. But I I think I'm out of here now. Um, yeah, it's it's Saturday for me. I'm gonna go hang out with the boys a little bit, and then and then get this edited, get this out, and so uh, yeah, it's about to be Easter. Have a good uh, good Easter. Eat some ham. Find a bunny or an egg, whatever you want to find in the grass. And uh, bullpen league episode two coming up on Monday. We'll see where uh, where everybody's sitting, and then uh, we'll have episode forty seven uh, the following week, uh, following Friday, hopefully or uh, Saturday. I think it'll have to be Friday. I'll I'll have to shit it out before Friday because I'm going to the Cardinals game Saturday actually. So yeah, I I won't be able to record it on Saturday. So yeah, Friday Friday sometime I can give you that. But I'm I'm gone for real, man. Uh, the, the, the classic Midwestern goodbye. Haha, <laughs> go fuck yourself. All right, bye.